everybody, G here. Welcome to The Grid. Today, we're in Logan Square. As you can see, it's easily accessible by CTA. This is the Logan Square stop, but there's also the Western Avenue stop and the California stop too. So you're probably asking, what's the grid? Well, consider it our ode to the neighborhood. Kind of like a love song. It's where I show you where to eat, what to do, and where to hang. But first, coffee. I want to know about the name Passion House. It's clear that you have a lot of passion for the coffee, but what, where did it come from? I literally dedicated my whole life to coffee, and so I had to put passion in the name. I can taste the passion in every sip of all of your coffee. Well, Ooh, thank you so much. I'm going to take this and enjoy this outside. Scott? Oh, gee, hey. Hi. How are you? I'm so great. Good. I'm actually going to be exploring oh. the neighborhood today. I was going to ask what you were doing over here. Yeah, so. and you are an expert. I do know Logan Square pretty darn well. OK, so tell me tell me about the vibe here. Yeah. A lot it's of like coffee shops. A lot of coffee shops, great restaurants, I mean, bars, nightlife. What do you want? It's all here at Logan. It's yeah. honestly like an embarrassment of options here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's like, you can't get through it all. You just, and you know, if you're like me, you always wind up going to the same places you like. And then you're like, <laughs> I need to explore a little bit more. Um, no, people love it over here because we've got so much green space, especially being so downtown, so close, and you've got the boulevards, oh, and there's yeah. so many historic homes, which is my favorite part as a realtor. When it comes to good eats, there are just too many to count in the neighborhood. So I'm sticking close to the square, and my favorite, the anchor restaurant, Lula Cafe. Why is Lula so important to Logan Square? I, I think we've just been a staple in the neighborhood for 18 years now. And it's really delicious food. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Would you say like farm to table? Oh yeah. That's something we strive for um, every day um, yeah, and something that we're known for. It's open all day. You can just pop in. A lot of folks come in and do work here during yeah, the day. Yeah. You can come and get a cup of coffee. You can get a simple turkey sandwich, yeah. which I yeah. love. Yeah. Or you can come in and have a more elaborate dinner at night. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of bicyclists in the neighborhood too, so if you need a new one or you need to get one repaired, Boulevard Bikes is the place to go. So tell me what makes Logan Square so bike friendly. For a commuter, we're right along Milwaukee Avenue, so it's very easy to get downtown from here. The five mile ride to the loop takes about half an hour. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't even have a car. Whoa! Don't let me down. I'll just stick with Uber. breweries popping up all over the city and Logan Square is no different and I'm here at Hopewell Brewery. I'm here with Jonathan and Samantha. Hey guys, thanks for having Hi. me. Thanks for, thanks for coming. Okay, so you're both co-founders of this incredible little brewery. Mm -hmm. um, why did you decide to open a brewery? Jonathan and I and our third partner, Stephen, who's my husband, we all met in college and we really connected over craft beer when we were in college. Oh, you drank a lot in college. Uh, very uh, moderate drinking. Um, <laughs> What makes Hopewell so special? We want our beer to be something that people can gather around, not something that's intimidating in any way. Hopefully they leave loving beer now that they've tried ours. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of loving beer, I love beer, and it's time <laughs> that I taste some beer. So this is Clover Club. It's a uh, mm. raspberry kettle sour. Um, it's based off of the pre-prohibition cocktail. With wow. Gin, so. Mm. We brewed ours with gin botanicals, um, raspberries, slightly tart, super refreshing. Okay, so you're the brewmaster. Well, back there, you're brewing everything here on brewing, site. Brewing everything here. We've got our tap room, and then we also distribute out of here. So we're driving the van and distributing to all the restaurants and bars around wow. town. Wow. Cheers. 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 Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Ooh, that's good. Good job. It's not all about eating and drinking here in Logan Square. There's a lot of locally owned boutiques and businesses, and I love shopping for gifts here. So I've known Kelly a long time. She is the owner of Flora, one of my favorite flower shops. And on top of that, they have a lot of unique gifts as well. Kelly, how long have you had Flora? Sunday's our 16th anniversary. <gasps> 16 years. 16 years. You've seen it grow, you've mm -hmm. seen it change. Um, do you still have a sense of strong community here? Absolutely. 
Um, one thing that I'm really in love with about the neighborhood is all of the small independently owned businesses that are opening. Um, a lot of them are women owned and so we just get together. It's just a good, everyone recommends one another, everyone really supports one another. Um, and then our clientele, same thing, they just really, really shop local and it's, it's been wonderful. Oh my god, this is so cute! What is that? I don't even know if I'll take this. <laughs> Oh my God, I love cats. All right, you hold that, that's good. That's so cute. What is this? Yes. I need one of these really badly. Someone send me flowers, I need a man to send me flowers. <laughs> so tell yeah. me about your jewelry. So here at the shop we have a really great mix. We are representing over 50 artists from all mm -hmm. over the U.S. and we do have a lot of local as well. Okay. So if you love Chicago artists, we also have those. And for myself, I've been designing fine jewelry uh, since I graduated SAIC and I love it. It's my passion. What about these little um, chain, little earring things? Ooh. Oh, did you just ask to marry me? <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes, of course I'll marry you. Love me forever and buy me this ring? Of course. Thanks, Vivian. I'm leaving. Bye. See ya. Bye. I, I know. I mean, live. you don't need this back, do you? Well, <laughs> I had to buy a little something for myself, right? We've been walking in the neighborhood all day. Okay, so right next to Adornment in Theory, it's the Logan Square Theater. You can tell it's a huge landmark in Logan Square, and it's an awesome independent movie theater. Hey, look, they're actually putting up the lettering by hand. That's pretty awesome. Good job, sir. Keep up the good work. And you know what else? Um, they have beer here and really delicious snacks. So let's go inside and check it out. So the Logan Theater, when it first opened in 1915, was known as the Paramount Theater. And of course, it is still operating today. It is pretty awesome. It's independent, and you can come and see your favorite movie and also get some delicious concessions. I'm talking beer, awesome pizza, a lot of good snacks, pretzels, and ice cream. And of course, it's in a historic building, so come check it out. Well, I'm showing you a day in the life. So of course, you've gotta get groceries, right? You can't have an empty refrigerator. Local, definitely need some greens, raw cashews, jalapeno cheese curds. All right. So I finished my shopping, but I ran into Allie. She works for the Dill Pickle, which is a co-op here in Logan Square. Okay, explain what a co-op is. Sure, so the Dill Pickle Food Co-op is a community grocer that's owned and democratically controlled by around 2,400 neighbors and counting, all working together to build a more sustainable local food system. Anybody who walks in the door is welcome to shop here, and anyone is also welcome to participate more deeply by owning a slice of the store. Another way I judge my neighborhoods, by its pizza. Logan Square has a lot of options, but one of my favorites is Polly G's. <laughs> Why Logan Square? Because it's a beautiful neighborhood, and it's a growing neighborhood, and it's filled with families and young professionals, and it's a nice mix of just everything, so. You created a special Logan Square We square. did. If you look at Logan Square on a map, it's actually a rectangle. So, it fits perfectly with our pizza. It's a Logan Square square. So, so it's risen over five hours in a pan. It's caramelized with cheese, crispy on the edge, and then we put our creative toppings across the top and change them every month. And you're very kid-friendly. We are very kid-friendly. We actually designed the kitchen to be open so that the kids can come up to the window and watch our pizza makers make pizza and play and give the parents a break and enjoy their wine and cocktails too. Okay, it's been quite a day here in Logan Square. Um, the grid is kind of like our love song to a neighborhood, so we hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me today. Um, we started out with sunshine, then there was snow, and then now there's rain. And that is springtime in Chicago for you. I think I'm going to end this day at one of my favorite bars, a stereo. And uh, I could use a drink, so until next time, I'll see you on the grid. To find all of these places we highlighted in today's video, head to the Chicago Sun-Times website. See you next time on The Grid.